I was really close to not even doing this race because the sun is so freaking bright here. It's going to be insane. But we're the 17 car, which is actually the dead last car out here. I believe this was top split. I don't really know. But we got Rusty Kruger out here. Raced a lot of Gen 4s with that guy. That's an awesome guy. Really good racer. Number one car out here is Sam. But yeah, this might be second split, might be top split, not really too sure. But um, I'm going to go ahead and qualify. If you guys don't really care about that, there's timestamps in the description, all that. You can just fast forward all the way to the green flag in the main. But let's go on board for some qualifying. All right, getting ready to take the final corner here, the big old hairpin. I love this corner. It's where Tony Stewart, like, won his last race. It was right here. One of my favorite moments in time. That was a really awesome situation. Poor Denny. But anyway, we're taking the green qualifying. Hope we do good. You guys are going to be blown away at how bright the sun is. Like, let me know if the sun is this bright for you. Like, when it's in our eyes or in my eyes or whatever, I cannot see. Like, the apex of this corner? Holy moly. And it's only going to get worse, I think, as time goes. I don't know if it's a sunset or sunrise. I'm kind of an idiot. Which way is north? What the hell's going on? What time is it? But, yeah. And uh, old Rusty Kruger reached out to us also and said uh, good luck and all that good stuff. So that's awesome. We got a buddy out here. Hope he has a good run. But this is our first lap. Real big stuff. The sun gets bad in this straightaway I'm in too. Can hardly find where the braking zone is. But that was pretty lackluster. Pretty lackluster corner. If I do say so myself. I'm also kind of questioning if I want to keep the reds on or not for the main. I don't even know. Because I feel like after a couple laps, these reds really kind of start going away. But we'll probably keep the reds on. I was waiting to get an off track right there. Felt like I kind of cut that quite deep. But here's our first lap. Hello, Barney. Number two. Come on, baby. Dropping back on the leaderboard. Uh-oh. Too much curb. Oops. Hopefully, uh, time, like, moves forward. By the time we get to the main, maybe the sun will be hidden behind some objects. Ooh. How did we stay green through that? That's wild. I must have really butchered that the first time. Seems like we're quite off pace compared to everybody else out here. That's crazy. These guys are so good. Definitely get to learn something today. Way too much of a lift. Locked him up a little bit. Get on throttle. Gonna be about a half a second faster than my first lap. Probably not gonna mean too much. Gonna get down to the 15s at least, which is cool. Maybe, yeah, 15.8. Hell yeah. Top 10 for now. As the 17, right, let's see, are we dead last as far as lap times? <laughs> Almost. Almost. Not quite, though. There's Rusty out there with a whole 14, whole second faster, dude. He knows what he's doing. So good on him. But let's go ahead and grit up and uh, see if we can survive taking the green flag. Let's see what we got. Well, it's our rookie season here the IndyCar. We qualified not that great in the 13th spot. I'm definitely a little nervous here. Hope we can make it the first lap. I know week one at Sebring was wild on the first lap at a road course. Uh, we didn't race last week. I didn't. I don't own Allgrave or Algarve or however it's called. I don't own that track. But we're, we're back at it, man. About to take the green flag. Everyone's on the reds also. No one went on the whites as far as I know, and we're off. That's good, kind of. We'll have some room behind us, but we do got this guy right on me here. Old NVIDIA graphics card guy. Trying to maybe dive on us, but it's okay. Let's just uh, make it make it to the line. Ooh, he's coming back. Ooh, he rejoined right there. Scary. Wow. That's one spot we gained. A lot of spots we gained today will be by attrition. 100%. Slowing down way too much for that NVIDIA guy's liking. I apologize. That was a ter terrible exit. Oh, okay. Right side. 
Thought he was wanting to get by on the other side, but on the bottom is cool. Just get by me at least. Please, Mr. Ty. Ty Killa. It's a cool last name. Let's hope he can maintain speed and cleanliness as we just drop. And my god. Okay. No one likes to lift for that corner, it seems. I think we'll probably catch t back to Ty. I have a feeling. Let's remember that. The 14 car. <laughs> Unless we die. Yeah, if I die, then it's over. But this bad boy's only 10 laps. It's going to fly by. Maybe. It might feel pretty long, actually. This track's pretty big. Oh my gosh. The sun will be the detriment to my lap times. If we don't get a top 10, it's the sun's fault. We'll blame it on the sun. As easy as that. Yes and please. Monu and mental. Here's the sun on this straight. <laughs> I'm glad it's off to the left. In practice, it was dead center down the straight. You couldn't see, like, at all. Hang on to it, 14. You got this, man. That's just top 10, just a couple positions ahead of us here. Ty guy had to lift pretty substantially there, it appears. And we do have push to pass, which I am not utilizing. It's definitely something we should probably consider using. Because we've got 10 uses and we already have 8 laps to go. These guys are so good. Where? Dang it. That's going to send me off track here soon. But yeah, let me know. Maybe I already said this. Let me know if the sun's like that for you guys. Because holy crap, the sun's crazy. Come on. Falling back quite a substantial amount. We got even one catching us here. Hang on to it, Ty. Come on, man. Actually, you know what? Just give me the spot. How about that? Let's push the pass right here. Definitely a waste of one because we're going to have to lift for this right-hander. Not an ideal spot for the usage of that. And he's locking up. Man, he's driving hard. we got the A car catching up, though. He is much faster. He is mobbing. Almost think we did race here in our IndyCar League also. Holy crap. But I don't know if it was this layout. It might have not have been this exact layout. It also might have been our Trans Am League. Maybe. Come on and catch me, number eight. I want you to show this 14 car what's up. Man, the amount of off-paceness I am. At least in whatever split this is. Wonder what it would be like if I was a split lower where I belonged. All right, yep, there you go. Leave the door open for him. We'll break a little Watch bit early. Right. Go there. Go Very clean. Here. Negotiated. That's how you negotiate. You don't negotiate with terrorists, though. That's the thing, something you want to keep in mind. A terrorist, as Sasha Baron Cohen would call it. Oh! Tom! Oh my! That sun! <laughs> Each time we've reached that part, we haven't really been racing anybody, so that's good. We're already almost halfway done with this race. Which is kind of making me realize 
that this really is a sprint. You need to be on top of your game early. Need to start using the push to pass. Even like right here. Sneak it in. We're going to use it up on the front straight too. These guys up ahead of me are really fighting for that position right now. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Didn't lose much time to the guys in front of me though somehow. They both must have had an issue in the hairpin. Thanks, Chad. Here comes our favorite corner. Just totally using the force. Obi-Wan Kenobi taught me how to sense the corner. Padawan. We do not have the high ground. It is not ours. Oh, hang on to it. No. No. Bummer. He just got Gronostolsky mind punted off the track. Shout out Grobski. Goatski. Here we go though, gonna use uh, some more push to pass in a second. Right here. Push to pass engaged. Huge lift. Don't blow this corner this time. Shut up, Chad. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> Don't talk to me again. Oh, the sun. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. It's all right. It's all right. I think that's how it goes. Come on. The seven car. Oh, did the seven car just die? Or did he blink? Man, it was like right when I looked at the wind mirror and looked away, he was gone. Something crazy happened right there. All right, get ready for some more push to pass. We got five uses left. Right there. One and a half second gap between me and old Ty. Oh, don't want to touch curb. Wow, that was a crazy amount of slowdown right there. Come on. Three to go. Last time I saw Rusty was in ninth. And now he's not even there anymore. He's definitely moved up then. Hell yeah. Where's the sun? Where's the corner? There's like a perpetual nuclear bomb going off for like the past 15 minutes. Is, which is the sun. It's slowing down way too early right there. Just do not want to miss this corner. Oh boy, we're being caught. Being caught red-handed right here. No push to pass here this time. Save it for the front straight. Two to go. Two to go. Curbs there, push the pass. All overtake. Marnie. Six, eight, point seven, six, six. Ooh, Nelly, that was a little scary. I always have to take that corner so slow. This 
especially this corner. Get the exit. Don't turn left too hard. Definitely spin out there really easily. Looks like I slowed down too much for that corner. You can use a lot more speed. Get that downforce rolling. Don't use the curb. Yikes. Oh, number 14 car. What's going to happen on this last lap? Come on, push the pass. Let's go, baby. Focus up. Use the force on that one. He went too wide. Maybe. He did. Hell yes. Okay, we're going to use the push to pass in that one section where I've been using it at. After this right hander here. Engage. We're only losing by four seconds. <laughs> Guys are so fast. <laughs> Don't blow it. Could have been easily blown right there. Gotcha, Ty. For the 11th spot, baby. And scene. Whoa. And scene, baby. That was awesome. Got the 11th spot. <laughs> Hopefully he's not pissed off at me for whatever reason. Seems like that's been happening, happening a lot lately. You were getting real pissed off with me, but it's all right. That, that sun was pretty extreme. Let's go ahead and take a look through the wrecks. Probably the most exciting part of this whole entire video. Because that was pretty much just me by myself racing the track and racing the sun. And I, I will say, unjokingly, that sun definitely hindered me. It was a hindrance. Jokes aside. Okay, that was either net code or like he locked up and lost control. But excellent save and rejoin. Oh, and then, okay, they have an issue anyway. Guy has no wing. But what we do, finish 11th, man, we just almost got that top 10. That was really close. Marlboro goes around, fighting for that position. Almost shuts the door on him. Dang, aggression. Oh, that's exactly what I was about to do, dude. Touching those curbs. You don't want to be touching those curbs. Do we end up passing that guy? No, he yelled that forward. That's behind me. That's what happened to the seven. Right when I was talking about him, dude. Like the exact second. And that guy's going to loop it in the hairpin. Keep it going around. We got other cars coming. He might get a penalty for that. A slowdown, which is kind of stupid. He lost a lot of time as is. Is this the NASCAR car? What does that say on the side of that? I don't even know. It looks like he was perfectly fine. Zero issue. Excellent. Okay, this is after the flag. I would yes it is. Alright. <laughs> that was cool. That was a nice showing of what an indie car looks like when it's barrel rolling. Is this the winner? No. This guy found a glitch in the matrix. That's how you take the checkered flag, right there. Fantastic. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Nice. Gotta, gotta respect it. Any uh, hate mail, anybody? Any uh, good stuff? No good stuff? Let's go take a look at the results. I am completely flabbergasted and shocked. We gained I rating? How? That's crazy. Like we finished less than half, like less than half of the field. Usually when you finish like less than the halfway mark, it's donezo. But we somehow gained a seven I rating. There's only one person that DNF'd the 17 car. No, the four car, I'm the 17. That sucks for that guy. That really sucks. But that's 
kind of crazy. Only one DNF? You don't see that very often, I don't think. But fastest time went to the uh, man who qualified pole and won the race. We gained some safety rating. Back on the way to being the safest guy on earth. Very good stuff. And uh, second split was a thing too. Look at that. They had a 14.7 was their fast time. Let's go back and I want to see what my fast time was. And definitely not a 14. There's no way. Well, we just pushed fast. Yeah, 116.1. One. <laughs> That's freaking sad. I hit a faster time in my qualifying. <laughs> okay. That was really sad. All right. Well, thanks to my members. Thank you guys very much. Very much appreciate you guys. Hopefully you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the old IndyCar race. That was pretty fantastic. Honestly, I love Sonoma, but I hate the sun. But thanks for watching and have a good day.